Hey guys, so first I started off this look by using the Voluminous Brow Tint in Deep Brunette on the angle eyeliner brush side of this eyebrow eyeliner brush and I just extended the tail of my brow starting at the middle of my brow and then just extending it so that there was an even blend. Then I flipped the brush over and I used that kind of spoolie area in order to blend the head of my brow all the way to the middle of the brow. That way there's a gradient of color on my eyebrows and it's not just one block of color. Using a concealer brush, I'm going to apply Light Bronze Perfecting Concealer underneath my brow. I start off by holding the brush as a pencil and then kind of tracing along the bottom of the brow. Now, this is a great way to kind of erase any, you know, mess ups or if I made the brow tail too thick. Um, but then after I trace the line, I'm going to now blend that color down towards my eyeball. This will help to blend out the color. Um, um, and then I use my finger to just really, really blend it so that you can't see where that concealer begins and ends. Then with the blending brush, I'm going to take Cinnabar, which is a matte brown eyeshadow, and apply this into my crease. Now, I like to use the crease, kind of that hollow area that's at the, that's underneath your brow bone, but before your eyeball, like if you were to poke in your eye, that is what I use as a guide for my crease. It's not the actual eye fold on my eyelid. If I don't use any other colors, I will definitely, definitely do this with every eye look, just because it gives dimension and definition to my eye shape. Now I'm going to use black waterproof eyeliner in the bottom lid, and I'm just going to apply this from the outer corner to the inner corner. Next, I'm going to switch my brush to an eyeshadow brush and apply and pretty much stamp hazelnut eyeshadow on my top lid. Now, with a tiny, tiny brush, I'm going to pull the eye line that I applied first on my bottom line, and I'm going to pull it up towards my temple. Then I'm going to now take that same color, that same eye line, and pull that onto my top lid. I know that doesn't make sense as I'm saying it out loud, but basically, I'm starting a stencil for my winged eyeliner. Now with the waterproof eyeliner, I'm going to go underneath the bottom lashes and pretty much place that color onto the waterline, but on the top this time, similar to what I did on the bottom. And what this does is it just creates dimension and definition into my eyelid without seeing the actual eye line. I love doing this with the waterproof eyeliner simply because it will go onto the eyelid so seamlessly, even if, um, you know, there's still moisture on my waterline or anything like that that the waterproof eyeliner will just kind of cut through that and still apply the black eyeliner smoothly. So I love this product because of that. Now I'm gonna go back and set my foundation with the Silky Setting Powder in Deep Bronze and then follow it up using Golden Copper Blush as a bronzer. And so I'm going to hit kind of my uh, cheekbones, my forehead, and a little bit on my chin with that bronzing color. Then on top of that, I'm going to apply hot coral blush just right on my cheeks in that area. And that's the final look, you guys, using all Mary Kay products. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.